What's up, YouTube? Mine's Life here. Mine's Life. Yes, I'm Son of Source. Yes, I'm Dr. Myers. And we're back with day 11. Day 11. Day 11 is. Yeah. Made this. How can you fix your marriage? You embarrassed, they be laughing at all them broken promises and flowers. Don't be passionate back. You can get this course for no divorce, so just imagine that. Twelve weeks of my life will save you from the avalanche. How can you fix your marriage? You can fix your marriage. How can you fix your marriage? How can you fix your marriage? Twelve weeks of my life, we can fix your marriage. Twelve weeks of my life, how can you fix your marriage? Twelve weeks of my life, help you fix your marriage. Twelve weeks of my resonating beautifully Eleven. with me yes mm -hmm. yes that is a master number one for me because I'm a one life path master number one life path it's so beautiful to see number 11 come around every time of the month we're filming it's November yes yes we love it we love it all right so day 11 what are we talking about on getting the love you want challenge what are we talking about so grumbling Mm, you're complaining. Upset, you're mad. You're frustrated. You haven't getting the love you want. Man. Yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> mad? You upset? Why are you mad and upset? The more energy and negativity that you put into it, then that's what you continue to repeat and bring to yourself. Mm -hmm. So now, just know, all anger is okay. It's okay. It's okay if it comes in. It's okay. So now, way you're trying to process it. Right. You're trying to process it. So it has to come to the surface so you can identify it to process it out. Right. Yeah, but grumbling takes your power away. It takes your creative power away. Because yeah. I can't tell you how many clients I sit in the office and just listen to them complain mm -hmm. about everything that's wrong. Mm -hmm. And a part of it is venting. But mm -hmm. as you complain, are you making any plans to change anything? What that does is that just gives more energy to it. Right. And then you, it feels even worse. The more you complain about it and talk about it and stress about it, you right. feel worse about it. It takes your action out of it. It takes your motivation out of it. It takes the intentionality out of it mm -hmm. because you just focus on everything that's wrong. Yeah, yeah. So if you focus on everything that's wrong, what do you see? Problems here. Everywhere. Yeah. All because you focus on what problem I got. And then you don't get the love you want. Everything's a problem. Everything's a problem. So Nothing good ever happens to me. Separation. I'd yeah. rather think the worst than hope for the best. Could you because imagine? Because then I won't be disappointed. <laughs> I hear it all day. Could you imagine if, if you continue to say like negative stuff about your life, how, how bad your life would just kind of spiral? And we do it all the time, though. Mm -hmm. We do it. Subconsciously, we do it and we don't realize it. Mm -hmm. You know, so. It's, it's funny to me. That's why I started laughing. It's, it's just like, you know, because I'm laughing at myself because I do these things too, you know. Mm -hmm. And over the years, I've learned to catch myself in it, you know. But we all, a human, we all have upset. We get angry. But we know how to process through it and not let it take control. If something comes to your attention, hey, that's what it is. Address it and keep going stay in that positive attitude focus on what you want right so if something bad happens instead of spending the whole week dwelling on it you have to go into survival mode you have to go into well i don't like the word survival you have to go into the intention of self-care mm -hmm. so what is it that makes you feel good and that's what i mean like you have to go into that mood immediately like go take baths Go cook your favorite meal. Go spend time with the friends that make you feel good. Go walk your dog. Go out in nature. You know, these things will take you into a place where you can think through the issue thoughtfully and then plan for your future. That was beautiful. Did y'all catch that? She caught when she said survival mode because you're not surviving. Mm -hmm. you're, so, because survival means that it's lack, it's stress. You're trying to, you're trying to make it. Mm -hmm. No. You're coming from a place of, you know what, I identify, I'm moving forward, I'm growing I'm from it. That was beautiful. That yeah, was beautiful. I had to catch myself. I'm glad, I'm glad that she expressed it and showed y'all the growth in it because that's growth in it, you mm -hmm. know? When, when you have it and you see it, then it's just like, okay, I identify it and I grow from it. And that's, that's beautiful. That's mm -hmm. beautiful. So to get the love you want, you have to really understand what type of love are you trying to attract into your life. 
you know, and then also don't grumble and be upset and, and be mad about it when it don't come as fast as you want it to or fast as you need it to. Because a lot of times we get angry and start grumbling about that too. Right. Or if, you, or if you can't get that person to do what you think they should do. Right. Right. And and that's tough because you can't control other people. And the more you try to control other people, the more frustrated and angry you get with them. People spend their whole lives wishing people would behave differently. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's funny is, you know, we're programmed to do certain things from commercials and, and television shows and maybe family and friends and our egos and all those things. So when we start doing stuff, it's just like, oh, man, we get nervous and frustrated <laughs> and upset about it when it doesn't go our way. Yeah. You know, and we feel like we have control over it. But it's a lot of different moving parts, a lot of different factors in that. A lot of people's lives that are involved in it too, mm -hmm. that they're, they're thinking about outcomes in it as well. So you have a lot of things pulling on that outcome too. Mm -hmm. you know, so just know if you're focusing on the negative, you're seeing the negative, you're giving negative energy. You are. So I have my Law of Attraction deck here. And it says, my what is need not influence my what is becoming. Mm -hmm. What is has no bearing on what is coming unless you are continually regurgitating the story of what is. Mm -hmm. By thinking and speaking more of how you really want your life to be, you allow what you are currently living to be the jumping off place for so much more. But if you speak predominantly of what is, then you still jump off, but you jump off into more of the same. So what is, is identifying, okay, this is what it is right now, around me. This is what's manifested around me. You know, so when you think about that, okay, that's already manifested around you. You know, so if you see something that you want, then you continue to look toward that and grow from that. If you see things that you don't want, then, okay, they're already here. Mm -hmm. So now let's focus on positive things of what I want to bring in because you know that, it's, it's brought this in, so it, you know it works, but it's just been working on the opposite end for me. Mm -hmm. So now I want to get the, the love I want on the other end by giving positive things. Right. And kind of changing the, the outcome on it. That's how you do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can create your ideal situation in your life. Now. Yes, because you were created to create. We were all created to create. Do you believe that? You know, how many artists are out there, how many creative people are out there that feel like, man, I hadn't been creative because I've been working this day job, or I hadn't been writing songs, or I hadn't been painting paintings, or I hadn't been writing poetry, or I hadn't been doing any of these things that I normally love to do because I've been bogged down with this job. But, you know, hey, it's time to open up and start doing it. Get the love you want through doing those things, mm -hmm. you know, and don't focus on how little time that you have to, to do it because you're working Focus on the time that you do have to do it and then do it in that time and then you'll start seeing that time expanding for you. Focus on those positive aspects. Mm -hmm. If you're a writer, focus on the fact, you know, last month I did buy me a journal. I bought a nice journal. And you know what? I haven't journaled every night, but I've journaled at least two to three times a week. Mm -hmm. And when I journal, I feel those creative juices starting to flow again. Mm -hmm. And I've been reading more literature and more ideas have been kind of brought to the forefront of my mind. And you know what? I had my relative or friend call me up and talk about that paper I wrote in Skate 8. Mm -hmm. And then I also came across this old manuscript I wrote. And I read through it. And I saw the growth of my writing over the years. Mm -hmm. Now you see how that feels? Versus... It's beautiful. I can't write. I'm I haven't written in years. I haven't written in years. <laughs> you know, so when you actually think about it, yeah, you, you, you're writing, but you may not be writing to the same caliber that you used to because you had that fire and passion and drive behind it then because you had the passion, you loved it, mm -hmm. you know, but then it's been suppressed for so long that you just kind of put it on the back burner. Yeah. Now it's kind of like, I don't know if I could do it anymore. But yes, you still have that same yeah. fire and passion. All you have to do is dust it off, turn that burner on, add some gas to it, and guess what? The flame is burning again. Mm -hmm. The flame is burning again. But you just have to put that focus on it and put the positive in it other than putting the negative in it. A lot of people look at age, well, I'm too old to be doing this. Mm -hmm. I'm too old to be doing that. And when you think about it, if you're still alive and you have your working faculties and things like that and you know how to do it, you're never too old to do anything that you love to do. Mm-hmm. 
You know, but as soon as you tell yourself I'm too old to do it, then you're out of the game. You lost right there mm -hmm. because you already told yourself that I can't do it. I'm too old to do it. So guess what? You're not going to be able to do it. When I received my master's in my cohort, I had an individual who was 75 years old. This man had his own company, his own consulting business, you know, staff, employees, was established, mm -hmm. lived in Chicago, had a beautiful high rise, vehicles. But it was his goal to complete school. And he went back at like 73 years old, finished his master's, and walked across that stage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, it wasn't about the money, but for us, I got to get this job to get this money, I got to get mm -hmm. this career to get this type of money. No, it was, it was the work ethic. It was for him saying, you know what, no, I'm going to finish what I started. Mm -hmm. That's what it was for him to accomplish those things, to say he could do it, mm -hmm. you know, to believe in himself. That was a goal he had. All of those things you can do for yourself. It's never well. too late. I know it's something that you want to do, something that you love doing, so get out there and do it. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Believe in yourself. Show love to yourself. Mm -hmm. You're divine. You're great. You can do it. You can. You can do it. <laughs> we love you. Yeah. We want you to like, subscribe. We want you to share this as well. We want you to comment. You know, we want you to comment, and, and we want to know. Give us some feedback, or what do you, what do you think, or what do you feel, or or how has this love challenge been going for you? You know, do you focus on negative things? You know, how, have you been focusing on positive things, and they've been coming to you? Mm -hmm. We want to know what you think. If you focus on those negative, you'll get more negative things. Mm -hmm. If you focus on the positive, you'll get more positive. That's right. So we want y'all to enjoy yourself, live your best life, because we love you and Myers Life. <laughs> Grumbling is the death of love. Marlene Dietrich. Over time, love is eroded by chronic criticism, unhappiness, disapproval, buried under a blanket of insult and grievance. Eventually others are worn down by our complaints, the constant focus on what's wrong with them. They give up trying to make things right, and their feelings for us dwindle and die. Criticism not only fails to get us what we want, it's a form of emotional self-harm. Because the traits we criticize in others are often projections of unpleasant truths about ourselves, our nagging has a boomerang effect. Our old brain absorbs the criticism as though we were directing it at ourselves. Then nobody feels loved. When we're weary, beset by worries, when the news is filled with stories of man's inhumanity to each other, animals and rain forest we long for kinder more beautiful world. The idyllic heaven that we've been told about seems an altogether a better place to be. The world can be almost unbearable harsh, and circumstances sometimes conspire to blind us to all but its meanness. But we live in a mysterious universe, everything, good and bad, beautiful and ugly, love and hate is everywhere, all the time. We create reality, fix it in time and space, by observing it. How easy it is to overlook the small miracles of our lives, to gloss over the simple blessings of being alive, being loved, the smell of babies, the taste of apricots, the beauty of the moon, our partners touch. As we learn to love day by day, as intimacy deepens, we begin to exist in a partnership enveloped by the spiritual. Heaven is here, within us, all around us, in this moment. To love is to be able to see it. Life-changing Activity 10. Take a walk in nature today. Go to the park, sit on the back porch, take a drive in the country, walk on the beach. Look for heaven in everything. In joyful meditation, I tune into my own body and feel the miracle of my heartbeat and, tuning into the outside world, savor the sounds and smells around me. I can have heaven on earth. Ma's life! Ma's life! Yeah, check out the new merch! Get your family dripped up and draped out in the new merch! Ah, yeah, that drip is here, that drip is here, that drip is here, that drip is here, the source, the source, the drip is here, the sun is so short, man, this drip is here, we got the leggings for the lady drip. It's here, we got the leggings for the lady drip. It's here, the sun of sore shirts, the drip. It's here, the sun of sore shirts, the drip. It's here. Sauce's brain shirts, man, that shirt is so tight. Man, that shirt is so tight. 
Don't mess up my vibe. Don't mess up my vibe. That shirt is so live, man. Don't mess up my vibe. You can see the vibrations on the front. You can raise your, raise your vibrations on the front. You ain't got a fur body. You can get some socks. You can get some socks. You can get some socks. The drip is so live. The drip is so live. Don't mess up my vibe. Don't mess up my vibe. My's life. My's life. The drip is so vibe. The drip is so live. The drip is so live. Don't mess up my vibe, man. This shirt is so live. The sun is so shirt. The sun is so shirt. Man, that shirt is so live. Man, that shirt is so live. Don't mess up my vibe. Don't mess up my vibe. The merch is here. The merch is here. My's life. My's life, man. That merch is here. Man, get your shirt, shirt. Get your shirt, shirt, shirt. Get your shirt, shirt, shirt. Get your shirt, shirt, shirt. Man, don't mess up my vibe. That shirt is so live. Don't mess up my vibe. That shirt is so light. Get some socks. Get some socks. You can get a dog shirt. You can get your dog shirt. You can get your dog shirt. That mess up my vibe, man. That shirt is so light. Don't mess up my vibe. That shirt is so light. Son of sauce. Son of sauce. Son of son of sauce. Son of sudden sauce. Son of sudden sauce. The sauce healing center shirt. Mind, body, and soul. Mind, body, and soul. Let your family get draped up in the drape. Let your family get drip, drip in the drape. Hey, that shirt is so light. Don't mess up my vibes, my life, my life. The merch, merch is here. The merch, merch is here. The merch, merch is here. Hey.